My name is Yvonne Ferguson and I'm director of the Contemporary Music Centre Ireland. And at the Contemporary Music Centre we represent composers from the island of Ireland and we document, develop and promote their work across the island of Ireland and internationally. So basically if you are studying uh, music by a composer from Ireland, if you want to perform music by a composer from Ireland, you come in here, you can browse through our 10,000 scores, 8,000 recordings if you want to uh, listen and make choices about what you might program in your performances. Um, we also offer that service online. They can access sample scores, they can listen to excerpts of recordings through cmc.ie. So we're in effect the publisher in practice for Irish composers, so we supply the sheet music. So we have very much a practical uh, role to play because if there's no sheet music being produced, performers can't play those works. So we're the link between uh, a composer writing their works and those works being performed at home and abroad. I'm Sebastian Adams, uh, I'm a composer, I'm represented by the Contemporary Music Centre and as well as writing music I run an ensemble called Kirkos and so I put on a lot of concerts and also perform, I play viola. So I come from a musical family, a classical music uh, family and when I was a teenager I got into making electronic music on, on computers through talking to my dad about that discovered uh, that you could study composition in the Royal Irish Academy of Music and so I did that and kind of snowballed. Um, I started putting on concerts while I was a student uh, and writing pieces. And as a composer, uh, the Contemporary Music Centre is basically a resource centre. There are thousands of scores by other composers here. Uh, you can find my scores through their website. That would be probably the most direct way. And then they're also very good about just uh, being there with information when you want to know about something. Um, they put on a lot of events as well. Contemporary music is written by living composers. The musicological definition is 50 years previous to the year we're in. We represent composers and we document works from a little bit earlier than that. Uh, historic composers as well from about 100 years ago we hold um, some of their scores in our archive but really it's about the living artist, about living composers, people who are writing music here and now. My name is Orla Shannon and I'm a Lyric Coloratura Soprano studying privately in London with Professor Ashley Stafford. Alongside um, my performance I'm also undertaking a PhD uh, at Dublin City University and I'm fortunate to have funding from the Irish Research Council for that research. So I'm going into my third year of the PhD which focuses on the underrepresentation of Irish women composers in the canon of Irish art song. I'm currently the scholar in residence at the Contemporary Music Centre here and this basically means that I've had unlimited access to their resources. So um, in the library here there are any amount of scores and I use these to conduct my musicological analysis on these women's works. I think I don't really fall into the typical category of a performer because I lead this dual life as an academic and a performer and I suppose this comes with its own set of problems because you find yourself often busy and uh, burdened with the workload that you have in front of you. But as a performer, I suppose my routine for keeping myself in check is to uh, just wake up. I generally have my cup of ginger, lemon and honey in the morning and I go off to the office where I 
take on my PhD workload and take a break from that by going down to the pianos, do my usual scales, my routines to warm up the voice, um, look at whatever repertoire I'm you know, taking on for that time period and then come home and just try and keep my uh, vocal cords very relaxed for the most part. Contemporary music coming out of Ireland is really punching um, at an international, punching at an international weight and that's where we come in to make sure that the news, uh, the good news about uh, people is really much uh, valued at home and so we have a huge role to play in promotion. I suppose the thing about, about music for, for most people probably is that it uh, elicits emotions in a sort of, in a way that's hard to talk about, which is why it's done through music, I think. Um, so what can happen is during a performance, whether it's something I'm playing or even something I'm uh, attending as an audience member, it doesn't even have to be something that really directly involves me, but you can find that there's some plane being hit that is just out of the ordinary. and. It's probably a feeling that's familiar to anybody who goes to concerts, but I'm just exposed to it more often probably than, than most people. I suppose I naturally swayed towards singing because it came most instantly to me when I was looking at these notes and would find myself interpreting a piece of music by simply lilting the, the notation in front of me. And I felt that this was a very powerful way um, of personally engaging with the music. When we put on performances, we normally try to find ways to kind of uh, contextualise the music, which could be to do with uh, the way that we promote it and what we call it and the choice of pieces as combinations, or it could be uh, in adding things like visuals and electronic elements and, you know, kind of making it performative and theatrical often. A good example would be our next thing, which is on the 21st of September. It's a thing in, in Farmley House. We, we were asked to do a gig there and told we could program whatever we want. So uh, I have a piece from a few years ago, which is called Harry Patch. I can't really tell you much about what it will be, but it's going to happen in the greenhouse uh, beside the Farmley Ballroom, basically as the audience walk in. So it'll be both a piece in its own right, but also setting up the mood for the entire event. And it's that kind of thing is probably what sets our concerts apart from a lot of other people putting on contemporary music. It has very much enveloped my life. <laughs> I suppose to the forefront of that question lies the realisation that you are your instrument when you are singing. So there is this emotional connection to the music because you are producing it yourself. It is very intrinsic to your body. So on the back of that, your, your own health is very important to maintain a, a good balance uh, with your diet and with uh, your uh, excessive talking, uh, just general day-to-day -day routine. Um, whereas with an instrument, I suppose you have the flexibility to uh, be a little more social and that's somewhat restricted when you're a singer. Contemporary Music Centre is based here on 19 Fish Amble Street, one of the oldest streets in Dublin and uh, it also has the uh, great privilege of uh, being the site of the Fish Amble Music Hall. Now unfortunately the hall was burned down but it was the hall that uh, hosted the world premiere of one of the most famous choral works in music history, Handel's Messiah. So that was premiered right next door and uh, all through the year, but especially as you can imagine uh, during the summer time, we have numerous walking tours that come past uh, Fish Amble Street and hear all about the premiere of Handel's Messiah. We're open to the public, we're a public library and uh, so we're open for the public to visit uh, Monday to Friday 10 to 5.30 and uh, our scores are available to view, so the reference copies of our scores are available to view in our library. Our archival recordings are available to listen to for reference and we have a qualified music librarian there to support people um, when they come in.
But uh, Handel, highly regarded uh, in his day and uh, considered a great innovator. And so in a way, it's, uh, it's really appropriate for us to be based here in Fish Amble Street because we represent the innovators, the composer innovators of today, uh, the Handels of the here and now.